It's new from Bucky Covington on US 99.5. He watches life back. You're, you're tent camping. You're up early this morning because you slept in a tent last night. Yeah, yeah. We're rednecking the crap out of it. Yeah, yeah, why? Why are you Why are you tent camping? Well, I don't know. I actually I live on the lake in Nashville, but we got about four days off, and my brother and uh, my tour manager and everybody, they wanted to go camping uh, like like old times. So we went camping like old times. <laughs> uh, like like before you could actually afford to stay in a nice hotel. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's that's great, Bucky. I'm glad you're out there camping this morning, honey. No wonder you're up early calling me. Okay, now you and your brother, you, you what, what, what was it? What did your dad have, like a body shop, an auto body shop or something? What was that now? Your, your dad, when you and your brother, Rocky, were growing up, did you work in your dad's shop? Was it an auto body painting shop, or what was it? Yes, it was. It was an auto body shop. Okay, well, here's the deal, Bucky. We were, they, we were talking today about life lessons for kids and at what age kids should know certain things. And a lady called up, and she said her six-year-old can change the oil in a car. A six-year-old? Yeah. Now, I said it's one thing to say they can do it, but has he mastered the skill? And she said, oh, yes, absolutely. Now, do you buy that? That, you mean he can go out there and buy his, I mean, I'm trying to picture a six-year-old. Yeah. I've seen some, well, I reckon I've seen six-year-olds, like, uh, do some pretty impressive stuff. Like, I mean, they're like, I've seen a six-year-old play the crap out of some drums. I reckon he could. Yeah, but uh, look, at <laughs> Bucky, playing the drums is involving two sticks and beating on something. I mean, getting under there and loosening the wing nuts and, you know, using the proper wrenches and draining the oil and, I don't know. Well, that's. that's that's very impressive, and i got to be honest with you, I think more people should know a little bit more about cars. I mean, like I had a buddy of mine in high school, he knew how to put the key in, start it, and put it in D. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Didn't even know what to put it for. I know how to put it in D and go straight. <laughs> so what's wrong with that? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. But if he breaks down the side of the road, I mean, it, can use it might be a good thing to know how to check your oil or, or you, know, you know, things like that, maintenance, you know. Well, I'm guessing but, he you, probably calls AAA is what he does. No, I, I, I'm th no, no, he called Mom. <laughs> <laughs> and that was your friend? I'm surprised. <laughs> You're hanging around with all kinds of boys these days, aren't you, Bucky? Oh, I tell you what, man. Yeah, he was an awesome guy. He played the crap out of a guitar, but uh, <laughs> you know, uh, that was about it. <laughs> okay, and some of these life lessons, I have the feeling that you learn things pretty young just because, you know, that's how you were raised, right? I, I did, man. My dad, my dad was a big stickler on, uh, he wouldn't necessarily tell you what you did wrong. He the bunch of fish. I mean, think about it before you do it. I mean, he jumped on me so many times about, you know, I mean, and it, and it really is. If you stop and just think about it just a little bit, you know, think out the next five seconds and then do it. <laughs> okay, well, here's the deal. They said that you should be able to bait a hook and take a fish off by the time you're seven. I'm sure you had that mastered, right? Uh, I, I was able to do that, yes. Yeah. Um, uh, open a can, you should have that mastered by age seven. Open a can? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, with a can opener. Uh, they said you should be able to turn off the water main in the house by the time you are 10 years old. The water main in the house? Uh, I probably, I've I seen Daddy do it yeah. by that time. But, uh, you know, yeah. Now by the time I got 21, I had to do it because the water department kept shutting it off. I didn't get it. I don't know why. Because <laughs> you didn't pay the bill. That's why, Blucky. Uh, you know what? That could have been, hey, whatever. I still said it was lost in the mail. <laughs> um, you should be able to iron a shirt by the time you're 10. Uh, that, no, it de totally depends on who, you, who, you, who your mom and dad is. Yeah, well, that's it, you know, because, you know, most people just take it out of the dryer and that's it. Shake it out a little and you're good to go. I'm um, 31 and I still can iron a shirt. <laughs> they said you should be able to navigate a multi-course dinner party as young as maybe eight Meaning you need to you need to know exactly what fork, what knife, what utensil goes where, and when you use them. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You might can throw a pizza party by the time I'm twelve, but I'm not throwing a formal. I remember going through the class and just saying that this forks. I still can't get it straight today, so I'm on. I personally do not know. And who sent you to the class? Who tried to send you to the etiquette class? I bet that was a problem. Nobody. <laughs>
<laughs> so when you were on Idol and, uh, you know, when you first got to Nashville, nobody, like, uh, tried to tell you, hey, Bucky, now, come on, we're going to go to the Palm, and you need to use the silverware from the outside in. Y'all remember on American Idol when everybody was picking with Kelly Pickler about the calamari thing? Like, what is it? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I never really said much about it. I had no effing clue of what calamari was. I've never heard <laughs> of it. I didn't know. I was one of those people. If I went to a nice restaurant, it was, well, first of all, a nice restaurant, Applebee's. But, Applebee's. Uh, <laughs> if I went, if I went to somewhere like really nice, if I didn't understand it, I didn't look to see what it was. I moved on until I found something I can understand what it is. <laughs> exactly, because you're right. They they were relentless on her about the calamari, and they they really were. And I'm telling you, the the, the restaurants and stuff, like the hotel we were at and the restaurant, there was one thing off that uh, uh, from. 24 to 12, I can't remember how many weeks that was, but there was one thing on the menu I would get every single night because that's all I knew what was on the menu. And what was and it? I, and I learned what bok choy was because I wanted broccoli and they sent me that. Oh, bok choy! <laughs> and they, that stuff rocks, man. I'm glad I found that. 